Ancient Japan is a fascinating chapter of world history, blending myth and reality. From its early mythical beginnings to the formation of a powerful empire, the history of ancient Japan tells of evolving traditions, warrior cultures, and influential empires. In this video, I take you through ancient Japan's key eras in simple terms making it easy to appreciate the depth and beauty of its history. The Mythical Beginnings Japan's early history begins with mythology. According to the oldest texts, the Kojiki and Neon Shoki, the Japanese islands were created by the gods Izanagi and Izanami. They descended from heaven, dipped a jeweled spear into the ocean, and from the droplets that fell, the islands of Japan were formed. The first emperor of Japan, Emperor Jimmu, is said to be a descendant of the sun goddess Amaterasu. He founded Japan around 660 BC. Though historians regard this story as part of Japan's mythology rather than verified history. The Jaman period, 14,000 BC, 300 BC, the earliest known period of Japanese history is the Jaman period, named after the distinctive pottery the people produced. The word Jaman means cord marked and refers to the patterns made on the pottery. During this time, Japan was inhabited by hunter gatherers who lived in pit dwellings and relied on fishing, hunting, and gathering plants for food. They crafted tools from stone, bone, and wood. The Jaman people lived in small communities and had a rich spiritual life, as evidenced by the clay figurines, dogu, they created, possibly as part of their religious practices. The Yayoi period, 300 BC, 250 AD. The Yayoi period marked the introduction of rice farming and metalworking, which were both crucial developments. The Yayo people are thought to have migrated from the Korean Peninsula or China, bringing with them new technologies such as bronze and iron tools, as well as agricultural techniques. Rice farming transformed Japanese society. As communities began to settle and farm rice, they became more organized. Villages grew into larger communities, and there was an increase in social hierarchy. The Yayoi period saw the rise of powerful clan leaders who controlled land and resources, and it set the stage for the future development of Japan's political structure. The Kofun period, 250 AD, 538 AD. The Kofun period is named after the large burial mounds, Kofun, that were constructed for the elite during this era. These tombs were often massive, keyhole-shaped mounds surrounded by moats and filled with grave goods such as weapons, jewelry, and clay figures known as Hanawa. This period saw the rise of the Yamato clan, which became dominant in central Japan. The Yamato rulers began to unify other clans under their leadership, laying the foundation for a centralized state. They formed alliances with neighboring kingdoms in Korea and China, adopting some aspects of Chinese culture and government, such as written language and Buddhism. The Asaka period, 538 AD, 710 AD. The Asaka period is named after the Asaka region where the imperial court was located. It was a transformative time in Japanese history, marked by the introduction of Buddhism and significant political and cultural changes. Buddhism was introduced to Japan from Korea in 538 AD, and it quickly gained the support of powerful clans. The religion played a major role in shaping Japanese culture, influencing everything from art and architecture to politics. The ruling Yamato clan, especially under the leadership of Prince Shitoku, began to embrace Buddhist teachings. Prince Shitoku was a key figure during this time. He promoted the adoption of Chinese-style governance, established a constitution, and encouraged diplomacy with China. His reign saw the development of Japan's first formal government structures and the spread of Buddhism throughout the country. 
The Nara period, 710 AD, 794 AD. The Nara period is named after the city of Nara, which became Japan's first permanent capital. This era is often seen as the golden age of ancient Japan, as it was a time of great cultural growth and political stability. During the Nara period, Japan experienced significant Chinese influence, especially in terms of government, religion, and culture. The central government established a system of land ownership based on the Chinese model, with all land theoretically belonging to the emperor. Buddhism continued to grow, with large temples built in the capital, including the famous Tadaiji Temple, home to the great Buddha statue. The Kojiki and Neon Shoki, Japan's oldest written records, were compiled during the Nara period. These texts helped solidify the mythological origins of Japan and its imperial family. The Heian period, 794 AD, 1185 AD. The Heian period is named after the capital city of Heian Kyo, which is present day Kyoto. It was a time of peace, artistic achievement, and the development of a uniquely Japanese culture. The imperial court at Heian Kyo was the center of Japanese political and cultural life. Aristocrats, especially from the powerful Fujiwara clan, dominated the government and lived lives of luxury. The court developed elaborate customs, and art and literature flourished. The Tale of Genji, written by Murasaka Shikibu, is one of the most famous works of literature from this period and is often considered the world's first novel. However, beneath the surface of cultural refinement, the power of the imperial court was beginning to wane. The court was increasingly unable to govern the provinces effectively, leading to the rise of powerful regional warlords, daimyo, and the warrior class, samurai. The rise of the samurai in the Kamakura period, 1185 AD, 1333 AD. The end of the Heian period saw the rise of the samurai class, as Japan shifted from aristocratic rule to military rule. The Terra and Minamoto clans engaged in a brutal conflict known as the Jinpei War, 1180 to 1185. The war ended with the victory of Minamoto no Yoritamo, who became the first shogun, military dictator, of Japan. The establishment of the Kamakura shogunate marked the beginning of the feudal era in Japan. Although the emperor remained in Kyoto as a figurehead, real power was held by the shogun and his military government in Kamakura. The samurai became the dominant class, serving the shogun and protecting their lord's lands. The Kamakura period was also marked by the Mongol invasions of Japan in 1274 and 1281. Both invasions were repelled in part thanks to typhoons called kamikaze or divine winds that destroyed the Mongol fleets. These invasions helped strengthen the position of the samurai and the shogunate as they were credited with defending the country. The Muromachi period, 1333 AD, 1573 AD. The Kamakura shogunate was eventually overthrown, leading to the Muromachi period. This era is named after the district of Kyoto where the Ashikaga shoguns established their government. While the early Muromachi period was relatively stable, the latter part was marked by chaos and warfare. The Unin War 1467 to 1477 plunged Japan into a period of civil war known as the Sengoku, Warring States, period, where regional lords, daimyo, fought for power. Despite the political instability, the Muromachi period saw significant cultural developments. Zen Buddhism influenced the arts and this period saw the rise of traditional Japanese tea ceremonies, garden design, and the development of no theater. The Sengoku period, 1467 AD, 1600 AD. 
The Sengoku period was a time of nearly constant warfare between rival daimyo. Japan was fractured into many independent states, each ruled by a daimyo who commanded his own samurai armies. During this time, several powerful figures emerged, such as Oda Nobunaga, who began the process of unifying Japan, and his successor Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who continued his work. Hideyoshi is also famous for his invasion of Korea in the late 16th century, which ultimately failed but demonstrated Japan's growing military power. The Edo period, 1600 AD, 1868 AD. Though this period is not ancient in the strict sense, it marks the conclusion of Japan's early history. After Hideyoshi's death, Tokugawa Ayasu completed the unification of Japan and established the Tokugawa Shogunate in 1603. This marked the beginning of the Edo period, a time of peace and isolation from the rest of the world, lasting until 1868. In conclusion, the history of ancient Japan is one that is rich with mythology, cultural achievements, and the rise and fall of powerful clans and leaders. From the early Jaman period, with its simple hunter-gatherer lifestyle, to the rise of the samurai and the establishment of the shogunate, ancient Japan laid the foundation for the unique and vibrant country that exists today.